morning ma'am yeah good morning how are you fine ma'am what about you fine so can i have your resume please sure yes your good name rahul ma'am okay where are you from i am from hyderabad okay can you tell me something about yourself my name is rahul i currently live in hyderabad uh, i have completed my graduation from bcom institute of technology in stream of computer science and engineering and my diploma from jawaharlal nehru polytechnic college mm -hmm. schooling from vishwanath chara school which is located in uh, jawaharlal mm -hmm. uh, coming to my academic projects i have done one major project in hospital management system where we used to manage multiple records which are done by manually in hospital so we digitalized the process uh, and we did a very good job that uh, and my technical skills are uh, java html css uh, my hobbies are listening to movie listening to music i play cricket okay so i got my set up thank you so your hobbies is music right so what kind of music you can listen i listen to peaceful music where i get motivated from that. okay so cricket also yes. right who is your favorite cricketer my favorite cricketer is virat kohli okay why you choose him i think he is a role model for all the cricketers who are currently playing for india and other countries also okay Uh, so can you say something about your academic project i think you have done project like hospital management yes, system ma right so node js and express js right so say something about your project uh, i have done a project on hospital management system ma where we created the multiple classes which can have, which can be useful for the hospitality systems mm -hmm. and uh, while while building and uh, taking consultancy from a doctors and uh, we are taking a reports a report from a doctors it will be a multiple uh, time taken process ma if a, if a patient who has to come multiple times to the hospital for taking reports and uh, clearing the bill so we digitalize the system where uh, the patients and the customer can be uh, get their uh, report cards from the, uh, their uh, website by logging in into their uh, portal portal ma okay what is the role you have played in your project I have played a backend process ma'am where I used to manage the database of all the hospital entities. Okay. I had done the documentation part. Okay. Uh, can you tell me something about your SQL? Uh, something about SQL? SQL, uh, SQL is a database language ma'am where we used to manage the multiple uh, tables uh, which uh, which have their uh, like. Uh, If you want to have uh, data relationship between two tables, then we have user database man, and multiple records. Uh, like if we are taking a population choice, we have we use database system man, where you can uh, calculate the number of people living in Hyderabad like that. So we use that uh, database system. In so what are the commands we are having? Uh, there are four types man: DML, DDL, DCL, DCL, and DTL. This well. data definition language data manipulation language data control language and data transaction language okay and data definition language consists of create alter drop and data manipulation language insert delete and update and data control language consists of commit roll back uh, at the point okay so i think you have a good knowledge on uh, java also yes ma'am right yes uh, so What is a thread? Thread is a lightweight process plan where uh, which is used to uh, utilize the CPU and uh, utilize the CPU time. Okay. Who will create uh, threads? Which part will create the threads? JVM here. Uh, JVM will create the thread now. Okay. What is the default thread name? Uh, default thread name is main. What is default priority of a thread? Default priority will be five. Okay. Minimum priority. Minimum priority. Maximum priority. Yeah. Okay. What is the difference between process and thread? Uh, uh, thread is. Uh, uh, so, what are the different types of threadings we are having? There are two types of threading: one single threading and multiple threading. Single threading is a process where one or one task or one job performed by the performed by the process and known as. 
single thread man that is main disadvantage is the uh, main disadvantage of single thread is uh, I, the CPU will be idle man and wastage of process time mm. and in multi threading process there are uh, more than one job or one task will be performed simultaneously so the uh, utilization of processor will be more effective okay how many types of multi threading are there again there are two types of multi threading uh, process based multitasking and thread based multitasking process based multitasking is where it is a small unit of process where uh, it, uh, and it will, and it takes a uh, it, it takes own resources and own own memory space man in a pro thread based multitasking it, it shares a common memory and uh, common memory space and addresses uh, main advantage of uh, advantage of uh, multi multi threading is to where we can uh, while playing uh, while playing uh, while downloading something we can uh, skip it to the another web pages so that uh, we can simultaneously handle both pages in, in multi tasking uh, we can perform only uh, different types of processes okay so what is uh, threaded deadlock Example for polymorphism. Can you give any real-time example for polymorphism? Real-time polymorphism. Uh, a person will be a uh, take 
person will be a father, father to his son, and uh, husband to his wife, like that one is exist. The person will be single man, but existing, existing in many forms like that. Existing in many forms. Okay. Uh, what is class? Class is the blueprint of objects now. Uh, it consists of uh, uh, data members and member functions. What is encapsulation? Encapsulation is a process where data members and member functions are binded together. Okay. Mm. What is an array? Array is a collection of characters now. It is it will be consisting of homogeneous type of data. Map. What is a string? String is string is a collection of characters where it can contain non homogeneous types of data. Okay. So uh, can you explain the thread life cycle? Only what? Yes. Second one, where it okay. consists of four stages. When uh, when JVM creates a thread, it will be in a new state. And okay. When uh, when new thread is created, it uh, it consists of start method. When we apply uh, apply the start method, it's coming to a uh, runnable state. Uh, runnable state now. When any other thread is running, it will be hold in runnable state now. Uh, uh, like uh, it can be method apply, it, it can be resume and sleep run and any input output. Uh, output are waiting for that, so it will be in a runnable state now. If another thread completes its uh, execution time, then it comes to the running stage now. Uh, and uh, by completing the uh, running stage, it has a two, two or more uh, methods where it will be in a sleep stage or wait stage. Wait stage. So that, so that uh, the thread execution by come, when first uh, thread execution will complete and come up, the other, uh, other thread, thread will come into a running stage and it will be complete. Executed in on time now. Then, it, while uh, while completing the execution, it comes to the terminated stage. Terminated stage now. The thread will be nice. Okay. Have your seat. Okay. So why I need to hire you? Since I have uh, since I have invested my six years of time in the computer science field, and I have gone through with many trainings. I am gone through with your uh, job description, so I think I am currently suitable for this position. Okay, do you have any questions to ask me? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing? Okay, your technical round is completed. For further information, our HR will inform you.